pancake. A runaway pancake, Rebecca. That definitely sounds like a silly emergency. Yeah. Looking forward to that pancake. But, it, I mean, it's only a story. It can't be real, can no, it? exactly. A so banana can't really be The cursed. banana's fine. Maybe it's fine. Maybe Surely. you better check on our stiliometer. Good idea. I'll go and get it. Okay, so this is our stiliometer. 3,000. High tech stuff, this. Right, let's see if it's working. Right, I'm going to give it a bit of a... Try it on me, I'm quite silly, right. let's see. Oh, yeah, it's working, it's working. It's medium silly. Medium. really is an emergency. This okay. is beyond emergency, Rebecca. What did you do, you cursed us? Okay, so remember remember what the book says. It says, to break the curse and save the score, we've got to follow the golden rule. Which is? For each test, a silly answer is what's best. So let's get started and have some fun with silly emergency number one. Okay. So, a silly emergency is, our pancake has run, run away. away. Now, how could we get that pancake back? Lure it with some marmite. Pancakes not marmite. Hate marmite. No, that's no good. And that's product placement. Yes. <laughs> um. I know. I know. I've got beans. It. No, 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 no. Maybe beans are quite funny. I know what we should do. We're gonna make a pancake party. We're gonna throw the city's biggest pancake party ever. We're gonna make savoury pancakes, we're gonna make sweet pancakes, we're gonna get toppings, we're gonna get berries, we're gonna give them hair and faces, and we're gonna make such an amazing party. And make loads of noise. And make loads of noise, okay. maybe a song. That pancake is gonna come running back here. Yes, because who would miss the pancake party of the century? Not that pancake and not me. Let's go. Rebecca, I've had an idea. Good. Right, so the banana of silliness is not powering us up to be silly. So we need to channel our inner silliness before we embark on this silly adventure. Right? Good idea. Okay, so I'm thinking we have to have hats with sil the silliest names you could possibly think of. Yes, definitely. We definitely need really silly hats. So how do we get silly names on our hats? I think what we should think of is, 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 is the silliest animal that you can yes. think of. Yes, yes. Okay. Armadillo. Armadillo. Oh, so silly. Excellent animal. Yeah. Very nice. Sea lion, you do a very good sea lion yeah. impression. Oh, 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 oh. Definitely a silly animal. That's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. Giraffe. Giraffe. With their neck boom, fighting. Boom, boom, boom. Don't try that at home. Yes. And okay, so we've got a silly animal and okay. what? And like silly food. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, a macaroni monkey. Brilliant. Brilliant, really good. Okay, okay. Uh, I still find sausages silly. I'm going to stick with it. Okay. I'm going to go sausages, sea lion. So I am going to write it on my hat and you can write it on your chef's hat too. So I'm going to be macaroni monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, 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 ah. And you have to make the sound of your animal too. Right there. Can I borrow your pen? My pen. Yeah, you, you can. So also, Rebecca, whilst you're making your hat, I had an even better idea. Yeah. Um, we should have a silly chant. Rebecca, I've figured it out. I've figured out what our chant should be, and you should learn it with us two at home. Should we? Because we should all do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It goes, silly, silly, yum, yum, silly food for my tum. Silly, silly, yum, 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 yum silly, silly food for, for my tum. And I think maybe we should put some movements to it. Maybe? Silly, silly, yum, yum, silly food for my tum. Silly, silly, yum, yum, silly food for my tum. Okay, so for our savoury pancake party, we're going to make some mashed potato based patties. So if you've got mashed potato left over, this is a really way, good way of using it up. So we've got one kilogram of potatoes. We've got 150 grams of plain flour or well, that's 10 tablespoons. We've got a bunch of chives for flavoring. We've got some salt and pepper for seasoning. That's what people sometimes call it. For making our mash, we've got a little bit of butter and some milk. Now we're using plant-based for ours, but you can use whatever you've got at home, however you normally make your mashed potato. 
And then we're thinking about what to fill our potatoes with and you can really choose, but we've got some cheddar cheese and some spinach. So macaroni monkey, we are going to make the biggest, the bestest pancake party. Pancake party! To lure our runaway pancake no, back into it. the kitchen. Mm -hmm. We're not having any of that. So we're gonna start off with a mashed potato based pancake, a patty. Yummy. You like. So your first job is to get some potatoes. We've got one kilogram of potatoes here, mm -hmm. and that's approximately, well, some small ones, some big ones, you can count. You can count your potatoes. Up okay. to you. Up to you. And we're just gonna, first job is to make these into mash. Now, I, when I make mash, I leave the peel on, because you get all the goodness in the skin, and we're gonna fry these and mix them all together, but mm. some people like a really I take mash. my mash a smoothie. She's a, she's a smoothie mash. Mm. So, it depends what you like. For today, we'll, we'll leave them on, because it's quicker. Yeah. Yay! So, um, we're going to chop, chop them. So before we start, I forgot something. We've got to do our silly rhyme. Of to, course we do. To bring extra silliness. Yeah. Can you remember it? Silly, silly, yum, yum, silly, silly food for my tum. Silly, silly, yum, yum, silly, silly for my tum. I didn't remember it, but never mind. It's fine. And also, I think you should juggle those potatoes, Rebecca, just for extra silliness. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. You used to juggle them. Yeah, you weren't you a world-class juggler in your day. No. You might want a grown-up to chop these, yeah. so I'm going to chop mine reasonably small. I'm using a nice sharp knife, which is always safest when chopping. I've washed them already because I'm leaving the skins on, if you remember. So I'm going to I'm going to keep them about that big because I've got a little bit of time. Because while these are in my pan with my hot water, I'm going to boil the kettle to speed it up a bit. Pop them in a pan with some hot water, a little bit of salt, and I'm going to let them simmer and cook. Uh, until they're nice and soft and then I'm going to turn them into mash but while I'm waiting we're going to get started on our sweet pancake dough mm, mm, mm. okay so we're going to make some sweet pancakes we've chosen a vegan recipe uh, but you can make it you can swap the ingredients we've got 300 grams of self-raising flour one teaspoon of baking powder one tablespoon of sugar uh, so that's four dessert spoons and 400 mils of milk. We're using soya milk, but you can use whatever milk you've got in. And then for flavouring, we're going to use two dessert spoons of vanilla essence. All right, little chefs, are you ready to get silly? We're going to make some silly sweet pancakes for your tummy right now, aren't we, Rebecca? Yes. Silly sweet pancakes. So we've seen our ingredients. What we're going to do is we're going to add them all together in a big bowl. If you've got a big bowl, that is. If not, you just have to work big with what you've pan. got. Big saucepan. Big anything, but not a hand, anyone's handbag or anything. Because that would be too silly. Right, okay, so get your flour. What measurement? That was 300 grams of flour. 300 grams of flour. One tablespoon of sugar. If you like your pancakes a bit sweeter, you can put a little bit more sugar in, but you've mm -hmm. got the toppings, of course. So. And then... One teaspoon. One teaspoon. We've measured it already. Of baking powder. One silly teaspoon of baking powder. So you've got all your ingredients and you are going to grab your wooden spoon and you're going to silly mix it together. Silly, silly, silly. I'm going to mix it together. Going to sing a song of silliness when I'm mixing my food. It's going everywhere, but just watch, watch, watch what you're doing so you don't get the food everywhere. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm feeling a bit silly. Oh, that's good. Uh, the thermometer at the back had a little jive then. It yeah. Was, uh, definitely. Like my music. We are on the right track. Right. Next. Slowly. Slowly but sillily. Slowly but sillily. We're going to add the wet ingredients, which in this case mm. is 400 mils of our milk. Do I add that first and then my extract? Yeah. Okay, doesn't really matter. Slow. If you can, while whisking at the same time. Mm. 
Do I have to whisk slowly, Rebecca? No, you can whisk quick. Whisk quick, pour slowly. Maybe little chefs could be in charge of the whisking and big chefs could be in charge of the slow motion. It's slow because we're trying to not have too many lumps. But don't worry too much. It's quite a lumpy do to begin with, Rebecca. Get a bit more milk in there. More. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. More milk, more milk, more milk. It's quite fast. Uh oh, uh oh. It's getting there, it's getting there. More milk, more milk, more milk, more milk. More milk. Very nice. More milk, more, more milk, milk, more milk, more milk. Jimmy? Yeah. But it was silly, so that's good. Go, 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 silly, silly. Oh, I need to have a, do a bit of a workout before. Oh, oh, oh. Um, okay, it will be a little bit lumpy still. Just keep going. Yeah. Should we silly, add silly, silly, yum, yum, silly food for my tongue. Yeah. Should we add the vanilla? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. it's hard work. I don't. I've not really oh, been working on it. really good. It. Really quite strong this one. Okay, so we're just going to add two dessert spoons. Dessert spoon is a medium sized spoon that you have for eating dessert. Okay. One. Nice. Two. Ooh. Lovely. Okay. You could take it. You can start whisking now if you're getting tired. So, it says on recipes, whisk and whisk and whisk and whisk until it's completely smooth batter and there is no lumps. But what we're going to do is we're just going to leave that to one side until we're ready to fry our sweet pancakes, mm -hmm. until we're ready for our pudding. And just by letting it sit, a lot of those lumps are going to magically disappear. So we're just going to leave that to one side and we're going to see how our potatoes are getting on for our savoury pancake party course. Okay, so we've finished cooking our potatoes, so they're all lovely and soft, and we're gonna mash them now. So what we've done, so they're easier to work with, and if you're a little chef so you don't get burned, is we've run them in some cold water, uh, just, just kept running the cold water over them to cool them down, so that now they're, they're not too hot, they're nice and cool, and I'm gonna get mashing. So it's however you make your mashed potato, really. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk, and I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. Um, I don't have a, a spoon or anything to hand to add the butter, so I'm going to use the side of my masher just to get a little bit of a melt of butter. Not too much. However you like to make it. And this is going to be the base for my uh, savoury pancakes. And while someone's mashing, the other person can mash potato, mash potato, mash, 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 mash potato. Yeah. It's just encouragement for her to mash the potatoes even um, quicker. I've stopped now because you've stopped singing. Mash potatoes! Mash potatoes! Mash potatoes! Uh, 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 mash potatoes! Lovely! So, that'll do. Roughly mashed. Okay, oh, they smell good. I love mashed potatoes. They so, look great. They look great. So, now to make them into a dough, I'm going to add a bit of flour. So that's your next step. You've mashed your potatoes. Mm -hmm. Bang, bang, bang. If you haven't got a masher, it's a bit more hard work, but you can use a fork. Just take your while. Someone will have to sing the song over and over mashed and over. Potato. Okay, so I have got just plain flour here, and I'm just gonna add it in gradually. I've got, uh, I think 150 grams, but I might not need that much. I'm just gonna see what it feels like to make it into a dough. And now I'm just going to use my hands. Ooh. Oh, it's nice squelchy. Silly squelchy. Silly squelchy. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going to need a bit more than that. Get that flour in, Rebecca. Get that flour in. Okay. Ooh. This is another good reason for your uh, potatoes not to be burning hot. You don't want to burn your hands. No. Squelchy, 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 getting the mashed potatoes squelched. Squelchy it's a good way of using up mashed potatoes as well if you've got any mashed Very potato good. lying around. Yeah. Okay. We've got potatoes that are just about to go. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's still a little bit sticky on me now. A bit As fun. more bit flour. Make it to a nice. I day. cannot wait to eat. Oh, we're not eating them, are we? Gosh, damn it! Oh well, if if our <sighs> pancake returns, we can we can eat it. We can eat the pancake, not the runaway pancake. Can't eat the runaway pancake. No. They just run away again. The party pancakes. The party pancakes. We can eat them. We have Unless they come to life too. Are they going to have a DJ at the party pancake? Pancake party. I think we better have. Yeah. DJ crepe. DJ crepe with the beat. We added uh, we added uh, a little bit of extra flour. We used all our 150 grams and we added a little bit more. And it's just you'll be able to see what you're looking for is a nice soft dough, a bit like a bread dough or a biscuit dough if you've made a biscuit dough before. So you can see now it's looking a bit more dough-like and a bit less like mashed potato. So now's a good time to add in a little bit of seasoning. We're going to add in about a teaspoon of salt and pepper, but that might be a bit too salty or peppery for you, especially if you've got young kids eating it. So what, however you like, yeah. like things seasoned. So I'm just going to pop those in now when I've got my dough. Oh, yeah. oh it's going to be peppery then. <laughs> That's too hot, much. hot, hot. Well, it's in now. It's in now, yeah. I could scoop some out. Okay, and we were going to add some chives to ours. I'm going to go for the salt. So I've got some lovely chives here. <laughs> Smell amazing. Yeah, it's so silly, Rebecca. <laughs> my hand is so silly. And I basically just shoved the chives up my nose. So I'm going <laughs> to cut from the other end so it's more hygienic. <laughs> uh, in fact, um, if you'd like to cut that. I would better. love to cut your silly chives. <laughs> So we're going to snip from this end. If you've accidentally shoved both ends up your nose, know, you can of course <laughs> wash your chives. Is that enough? Would you like some more? No, I like chives. Let's have a bit more. Does everyone like chives? Yeah, a bit more. A bit more. Lovely, that'll do. Okay, and then you're going to mix it all together. Okay, silly chefs, we are going to shape our pat pat patties. So we're going to make a normal patty to begin with. And what you're going to do is just flour your hands up a little bit, grab your mixture, maybe just get a spoonful, something like that, shape it up into a ball, rolling, 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 is all you need to do. So that's a typical patty that you could do. You could have it a bit thinner depending on how you like your... Um, your thing, whatever it's called. The thickness of your patty pancakes. The thickness of your patty pancakes. So you've got one, you can do that, but Rebecca, that's not quite silly enough for my liking. So I've decided I'm gonna make some silly shaped patty pancakes. So if you've got some shapes at home, then pop them up, give them a wash, give them a dry, get them ready. Um, flour your surface that you were going to put your mixture on because you won't do it in your hands like I just did for that one. Flour your surface, get your mixture, another dollop, maybe a little bit more of a dollop, and then rolling pin if you've got a rolling pin or if you haven't got a rolling pin then a heavy bottle or pot, make sure it's clean. Anything round that rolls, really. Yeah. Flour your pin and get rolling, rolling, rolling. And if it gets a bit sticky, just put a bit more flour out on your thingy or on there. It might go into a funny shape on its own. I thought it looked a bit like a duck then for a minute. Yeah. So if you don't have a cutter, you can use a knife to cut funny shapes or you can, uh, you can do like clouds, just give it a roll, see what it looks like. Exactly. So I'm going to go for this hilarious bear, the hilarious bear, and I'm going to cut it like that. I probably put it the wrong way, but there we go. And, oh, I didn't do it well enough. And now I've got a backwards bear, because I didn't do the cutter. Make sure you use the cut. If you have got a cookie cutter, put the right side down, because I didn't then. But you live and learn, silly chefs. You live and learn. And then I've got my bear, but it, you might want actually, rather than use your fingers to get it off, either something that's got a flat edge, so if you've got a masher like this, or if you've got a fish slice. <laughs> that's, a, that's a silly bear. That is a silly Perfect. bear, but he is gonna it's be good. a delicious bear. 
um, and you just continue on in that way. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to hand over to our big people now at home because we're going to use the hob which has got fire and it's obviously super dangerous. So we're going to fry off our potato patties and we're going to use a couple of teaspoons of sunflower oil. I'm just going to start to heat this up in a, in a frying pan. I've got a non-stick frying pan here. So, eek. big bubble. Okay. I'm going to use uh, not too high heat because I don't want to set the fire alarm up. So just a, a low to medium heat. Spread my oil out. Might be able to see just to the edges, they're starting to go a little bit brown. So I'm just going to use something flat to flip them over. That's all very nice. Lovely. Okay, we are, we've cooked up all our pancakes. We've got our savoury ones here. They're looking so good. And we are ready to make the savoury course of our pancake party. So we are going to try and make a really super tall pancake tower. So you can use whatever ingredients you like. So we've got a, we're going to start with pancake base, nice flat solid base. Then we've got some fresh spinach. We're just going to have that as like, as it is, it's been rinsed. Garnish. Very nice, nice crunchy, healthy layer. Then I'm going to add another cake. <laughs> yeah, nice tower. Then I have got some, we've got vegan bacon. You might want to use real bacon. You might want to use cooked ham. Would go really nicely. Some bacon oh my in. gosh, this looks very posh. Looks really nice. Gonna put a bit more spinach. You might want to add eggs, whatever you want. Uh, let's have another one. How tall do you think I can get it without it falling over? Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Just keep just going, going and party, remember. That's right. But obviously you don't, you might not need to go so big. Because it might not fit in your belly. You could have these with baked beans. You could baked have beans and cheese, a sprinkle oh, yeah, of cheese. Nice. We've got some cheese, we can add some, some cheese. Sausage, in chopped up sausages. Um, you can play pancake Jenga once you've made the Yeah, trial. and then start playing with that and seeing, seeing if you can do it without knocking Bits it over. time. I'm good at this. I'm you quite are pleased this. with how tall this is. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. How many layers am I? See if you can get more layers than me at home. It's a nice fat one. <gasps> no! How many layers was that? That means it's time to eat, 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 eat. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six layers. Very nice. Silly, silly, yum, yum, silly food from my tongue. Okay, little chefs, it's time to cook off your sweet party pancakes. So we're going to get a frying pan as usual. Going to get your um, hob on a medium heat. And you're going to add some sunflower oil or whatever oil you're using at home or butter if you haven't got oil. A teaspoon, I'm going to put two teaspoons in here. One, two, and you're going to wait for your oil to heat up so it's really hot. So obviously this is the big people doing this now, okay, for cooking up your pancakes. So you're gonna wait, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just adding it up and they can't. What you might want to do is swoosh it around the pan so your pan's evenly covered with oil. Again, leaving it a bit longer to heat up. I'm just gonna wait. Okay. If you're waiting, you could just do a little dance. Da, 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 da. It shouldn't take too long. Your oil will look a bit thinner if it's hot enough. And you're going to get your batter, your mix, your party pancake mix, and you're going to get a spoon, or you could pour it into a jug, or you could use a ladle, whatever you fancy. I'm going to use two dessert spoons per pancake, okay? 
So again, this is the big people of your household doing this. All right. And you can hear that, that's really nice. So I'm gonna put a number of them in. And what you'll want to do with this is cook them. So it's three minutes on each side on a medium heat. So what you'll see is when you know it's kind of done and ready to flip, um, well, you won't see it, but once it's had three minutes on one side, you flip it and then once they're done, it will be um, brown and maybe a little bit bubbly. Brown on the edges and a little bit bubbly. And you should see them rising and getting bubbly. They might not be massively round, but that's okay because what we're doing, we're making silly pancakes. Silly sweet pancakes. So as you can see, they've started to bubble. So that tells me that it might be nearly ready to flip. So I'm just going to have a little test of the the first one that I put in. Oh yeah, let's have a, and we're gonna flip. Yeah, that looks good. So, which means the other ones will start to be ready soon. So the more they bubble, the closer it's gonna be. Let's have a look at that one. Yep. <gasps> these look super silly and yum. I can't wait to eat these. Oh, uh-oh. That, well, you might have mishaps like that in the kitchen, but of course, there's a silly, a silly do. So I've made them this size, you could, if you wanted them a bit bigger, you could put a few more spoonfuls in. So again, just leave them for a little longer. You might want to, because this one's a bit lighter, you might want to flip it back over and put it in to make it a bit browner. It's up to you. You've just got to make sure that all, the, all of the batter is cooked. And when you're waiting, let's have a little silent dance. Can you silent kitchen disco. Or you could sing. You could do yum yum. Yum, 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 pancakes, 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 yum, 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 yum. And then you could test it and flip it over again. Woo! If that happens, don't worry. Oh, that one's looking good. I think that one's ready. So once you've got one ready, grab a plate that's close to you and flip it up. Ta-da! And the other ones might need a little bit longer. Okay, party pancake people. We're gonna make some, we've got sweet pancakes already and we are going to make some disco diva pancakes. Yeah. So, I'm gonna grab a pancake, boop. I'm gonna grab a pancake. Maybe I'm gonna put two pancakes together. And make yeah, let's, let's, have a, let's have a friend group. So, however you wanna do it. And we've got some fresh fruit. So we've got some raspberries mm -hmm. and we've got some blueberries. Yeah. So. But well, whatever you have, banana. So you can see, so it's facing yeah. I'm gonna give this disco diva amazing, enormous raspberry hair. Maybe mm, some. Too. She's got lipstick on. I'm gonna go blue. I've got some chocolate sauce. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get some. Squeeze. It might be good. You might have. Oh my day. It's very thick. That's her nose. <laughs> you you might have syrup at home. You might have ice cream. Ice cream, strawberry sauce, whatever you like on your pancakes really. Oh my days, her eyes are terrible. May I have some raspberry please? Yes. yes. Thank you. Some lipstick. Some lipstick. And then Just it's go wild. Thing. I'm gonna go. Wherever you want it. <clears throat> Mine are terrifying. Mine are quite too. And uh, I'm gonna just make this into a longer thing. What would they be singing? I'm gonna eat my pancakes in the morning, pancakes in the evening, pancakes in the day. Pancakes all the time. Pancakes, hey, hey. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. 
Maybe. Lovely. I don't know. Maybe. You can make up your own song, really. She should probably have the same eyes, not one bigger than the other. So we've got we've got a pancake tower with our Sophie pancakes, and we've got some pancake party people that are not terrifying at all. Not terrifying at all. They're I'm, silly. I'm sure these are super silly enough to bring back our runaway pancake. What do we think? I yeah. hope so, because this will have all been for nothing. Uh, really? Runaway pancake! Runaway pancake! We've prepared you the most pancakey, fantastic party ever. Ever. Did somebody say pancake party?